They really, really love broccoli. I go grocery shopping for them to get their broccoli. I'm Kara, and this is a story about groundhogs for GeoBeats. I feed them in the morning and do what they want to do, and then I feed them later in the afternoon as well. They can be really picky. If I have broccoli with me and I'm trying to hand them a carrot, they'll be smelling the broccoli and they'll just be like, I don't want that carrot. Give me the broccoli. Oh, yeah. I've always loved animals. They've always been really close to my heart. The first time I noticed Miss Boo Bear was summer of 2022. She had been out in the front yard and she was feeding on the grass. So I decided I was gonna leave some food out for her and she just started getting comfortable with me within a few weeks. Fast forward to this summer, it looked like she had been nursing. I was thinking she's trying to bring back materials for nesting. So my mother had a great idea to actually leave burlap out there because it's a natural material. <laughs> Within a couple of weeks is when I saw little cute groundhog babies out there. I would sit on the ground on a mat and once the baby saw her eating from me, they just said, if mama can do it, so can I. Nice breakfast this morning. And that's when they started coming over and taking from my hand and crawling on my lap. It was quite an experience. She is really smart. She made three dens all together. So if there's any kind of predator, then she can just go within one of those dens that's closest by. They have a lot of rooms throughout their dens. They have a birthing area. They have an area where they sleep, an area where the baby sleeps. It's really intricate. They're so timid. They get so spooked that they don't seem to like to travel too far from home. Oh, good boy. I just mostly notice them going back and forth between the dens, eating the greens that naturally grow, and then coming to me for food. I would say broccoli, kale, tomatoes, and carrots are their favorite. They seem to really like the greens, I think because that's natural for them to eat. The babies come running. They're almost like little dogs. Every now and then, they will fight over food. Hi, don't fight. I can recall when two of the babies were fighting. This boo bear, she ran and she broke the babies up from fighting. I've read that the male groundhogs stay around at first when the mother is pregnant and then they take off. So they pretty much just say, hey, you're gonna do all the work and I'm just gonna take off and go out on my own. <laughs> The females will stay with the mother sometimes for a whole year until she has another litter if she does. Last year, Miss Boo started her hibernation around October, did come out in March. Out in the wild, I've read the average lifespan could be anywhere from two to four years. And I've read that if they were taken care of, they could live up to 15 years, similar to a dog. And I send it up to the universe, like, please keep them safe and healthy. I bought this natural spray for them. It's to keep away ticks or anything out there that could get on them, like fleas or mites. I get sad thinking about they may take off and I get a little bit teary-eyed, but I'm just so thankful for the experience that I've been able to have. It feels amazing. It fills my heart with joy. There's no words to describe.